and welcome to Badminton Unlimited. Coming up in the next half hour, it's all about the recently concluded HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2022. With the top eight performing players and pairs from the year looking to sign off their season with a bang, we look back at who outlasted their rivals for a cool cut of the 1.5 million US dollars in prize money. Last week, Bangkok welcomed 2022's best elite players for the season-ending HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. Before storming into battle at the Nimibut Arena, the players gathered and mingled at the Santara Grand in Bangkok Convention Center for a relaxing gala dinner. <laughs> you don't get uh, to see all the players uh, wearing such fancy stuff and I think it's really nice. Uh, uh, I hope it happens uh, not just once, probably two or three times in a year. The evening also provided the perfect backdrop for the BWF Player of the Year Awards ceremony. Victor Axelson claimed the best male player of 2022, while fellow world champion Akane Yamaguchi scooped up the female equivalent. After a stellar season, Tseng Se Wei, Huang Ya Tiong were worthy recipients for the Pair of the Year Award, as were Indonesia's Faja Alfian, Mohamed Rian Ardianto, who grabbed top honors in the Most Improved Player of the Year category. Kodai Naraoka walked away with the Eddie Chung Most Promising Player Award following a breakthrough season on tour. Daiki Kajiwara and Manisha Ramadas were celebrated as the season's best male and female para badminton players, respectively. Capturing para badminton's most outstanding pair of 2022 were the reigning WH1 WH2 world champions Thomas Van Schneider and Rick Hellman. Fans who thought the invincible Victor Axelson would end his group campaign with little fuss were proved otherwise. The world number one opened his account in Bangkok, navigating straightforward victories against debutants Lu Guangzhou and Kodai Naraoka. Axelson pumped. Wonderful. And incredibly, that's five match points saved by Kodai Narioka, but a sixth was just too much to ask. But HS Pranoy, also another first-timer at the World Tour Finals, stopped Axelson's unbeaten run. Winless before his encounter with the Dane, Pranoy put together an inspired performance. The win was consolation for the Indian star, as it was Naraoka who joined Axelson into the semi-finals, after the Japanese bested Liu in straight games on day three to finish as Group A runner-up. Former world champion Lo Kian Yu missed out on a spot in the last four after failing to register a crucial win on day three. The Singaporean faced a tricky opening match against Cho Tianqin, but a clear game plan helped Lo to get off to a winning start. Great touch again. The length not bad though from low. Oh, it's in. What a shot. First time I'll ask you, look what it means to the man. Whether it's group stages or not, I think every win is quite important. I mean, it's um, other than just the result itself, it's also for personal confidence and also to like you give your all in the match and you see what you can improve from there. But back-to-back -back defeats against Indonesians Jonathan Christie and eventual group winner Anthony Sinisuka Ginting proved costly. That'll do it. 23-21. Olympic champion Chen Yufei left it late to book her ticket into the semi-finals. 
The Chinese superstar had to weather an opening match loss to Indonesia's Gregoria Mariska Tunjung before finding her feet against Akane Yamaguchi on day two. With all still to play for in the last round of group matches, Chen knew nothing less than a win over An Se-yong would do. Absolutely terrific rally, it really was. Pretty someone had to lose the point. Well, fantastic defense initially. There was the kill. It's a massive warning for every other woman left in this competition. Tai Tzu Ying also did not enjoy the best of starts in Bangkok. After slipping up against He Bing Tiao, the world number three stepped up her challenge when she faced Bu Sanon on Bang Rumpan. Just long, and therefore on her second match point opportunity. With her already secured a semi-final place as group winner, the Chinese Taipei superstar needed to overcome local hope Ratchanot Intanon and progress as group runner-up. Nice block again. <laughs> Only needed the one match point. Great respect between two great players. Zheng Se Wei and Huang Yaqiong's quest to recapture the World Tour Finals crown began with a statement of intent. The 2019 champion swept aside French duo Tom Jiquel and Delphine Del Rue in double quick time. Oh my goodness. Speed of reaction there from this man. Cheng Shi Wei. Yeah. 21 8, 21 9 in 25 minutes. After Go Soon Huat, Siobhan Jimmy Lai were forced to concede their last match due to injury. Renaud Rivaldi, Peter Hunning Tiasmentari's thrilling three game win over Jiquel Del Rue in the last group match proved crucial. They've done it! It's unbelievable! I feel so... Uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, but so happy. Malaysia's Tan Kian Ming and Lai Pei Ting's upset of Olympic champions Wang Yuli, Huang Dongping in the opening match was a big step in their eventual passage to the last four. After their defeat against 2B group winners Deja Paul Bavara Nukro and Subsiri Teratanachai, Tan and Lai ensured their semi-final spot with a convincing win over another Thai pair, Supak Junko and Supisara Peusampran. <laughs> Newcomers Banyapa and Nunta Khan Aimsad stormed into the knockout phase following an incredible end to day three. However, it was far from an explosive start to their first World Tour Finals when the Thai sisters were surpassed by experienced compatriots Jungkul Pan Kititaraku and Rawinda Prajongjai. Match point. And on the first time of asking. The Einsards kept their focus and easily prevailed against Vivian Hu, Lin Chu Sin next, before hitting form against top seeded pair Jung Na Yoon and Kim Hae Jong. And there's another point for them. And that is the two game victory confirmed 21 8. And it also means they win the match in the group. 
จริงๆเราเนี่ยไม่ได้คาดหวังว่าเราจะเข้ารอบค่ะแต่ก็เป็นครั้งแรกที่เราแข่งรายการนี้แล้วก็เข้ารอบเซมิไฟแนลค่ะก็รู้สึกดีใจแล้วก็ตื่นเต้นในวันพรุ่งนี้ค่ะจังชื่อเฉียนจังยี่ join Chen c h i n g c h e n Jia Yi Fan to round up China's domination of the group. Chen Jia went through undefeated, while Zhang Cheng registered two wins to wrap up Group B with the second best record. World number three duo Fajr Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto began their title assault in good form, showing impressive game management to overcome Choi Sogyu, Kim Won Ho. The Indonesians were once again on song when they got the better of former world champions Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi in straight games. Well, she put away. That was there for the taking, wasn't it? Right between the two, perfect spot there. And they've done it. a l f e n a r i a n t o have beaten Hoki and Kobayashi. It was do or die for Ong Yu Sin and Chiu Yi Yi when they faced a l f e n a r i a n t o in their final group match. The Malaysians needed nothing less than a victory for a spot in the last four. Oh, what a return that was! And it's turned into a winner. They've done it. Ong and Cho have won. With Choi Kim claiming their first win over Hoki Kobayashi in a later match, it meant Ong c h i o topped the group with Alfian Ardianto as runners-up. Class is permanent, as m o h a m m e d Asan and Hendra Setiawan demonstrated on their way to the semi-finals. It began with a swift dismantling of the challenge put up by the reigning world champions Aaron Chia, So We Yik in their opening contest. It's just phenomenal to watch. And boom from Asan. Better no long rally. rally. Better for us, me, basically. Another skillful demolition job followed on day two, and as s c a r a b r a s m u s e n Kim Astrup simply had no solution against the veterans' intelligent play. It mattered little when Liu i t e n o h s i e n i snapped their unbeaten streak in their last group match. With both pairs racking up two wins each before the encounter, the Indonesians already qualified along with Liu and O. Oh. Going wide, and the Chinese pair have done it. They top this group. Diving out for a quick break, we'll return with the knockout stages of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2022. Welcome back. With the group stage done and dusted, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2022 pushed on to the business end of the competition. It was Victor Axelson versus Kodai Naraoka Part 2, and this time it was a blockbuster of a contest. The 21-year-old Japanese was in defiant mood as he tormented the Olympic champion with his speed. It's going wide, opening gate. Stung by what unfolded, like the true champion Axelson dug deep for a marvelous comeback. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! It was end-to-end -end action until Naraoka's short net flick concluded the 83-minute thriller. I was both. A little bit lucky, but also stepped up in the crucial part of the game. And you have to you have to win on days where everything isn't coming uh, together as well. So I was happy to win today. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting came out on top in the other semi-final, edging fellow countryman Jonathan Christie in three games. Akane Yamaguchi avenged her group match loss against Chen Yifei with an improved performance. 
The world champion dictated play for large periods of the match, frustrating Chen from finding her own opportunities. It's a masterclass, isn't it, from the Japanese? Well, you will not see a better performance than that in these championships. A similar narrative took place between Tai Tu Ying and He Ping Tiao. In the semi-final, the Chinese Taipei player worked hard to keep her mental focus and solidified her defensive game to wear out her opponent's resolve. <laughs> that is a touch of genius. I就是希望自己可以先跟上他的一些下壓,因為畢竟我覺得這個場館的風向他一直就是會有小幅度的改變,所以我覺得在場上的每一個調整都要非常的快速。Han Qianming and Lai Pei Jing were the latest opposition, bedazzled by the sheer masterclass of Cheng Siwei, Huang Yaqiong. Outplayed and outthought from the start to finish, Tan and Lai's challenge quickly unraveled in just under the half hour mark. He's so good at these flat exchanges, Cheng Siwei. That's it. A third final for Sheng Wei and Wang Yaxiong. In the other last four battle, local hopes Dejapol, Guavara Nukro and Subsiri Teratanachai were taken the distance by one of the tournament's surprise packages, Rino Rivaldi, Peter Hanintias Mentari. The Indonesian duo forced the contest into a decider, but their inexperience counted against them as the ties rallied to wrap up the match. They've done it. A third consecutive final at the World Tour Finals for the two-time defending champions, Dijapon Puavra Nukro and Sapsari Teirat Danachai. Oh, I'm going to be a big game. 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 There was more to cheer for from the hosts in women's doubles. Bin Yapa and Nunta Karnain Saad continued their dream debut after they repeated a winning performance against Jiong Nayun, Kim Hai Jiong. Buoyed by the boisterous home support inside the Nimibuts Arena, the Thai sisters ended Korea's campaign with another memorable victory. Well, they looked a bit nervy at times, but they showed real grit as well as talent, and they're through in straight games. Chen Jingchen and Jia Yi Fan were simply too good for Chang Shu Xian, Chen Yi. Largely untroubled in the 39-minute encounter, the world number ones were always on the front foot to reach their fifth World Tour final of the year. Well, it was called in, and it's going to be challenged. Mohamed Asan and Hendra Setiawan took another step closer to the title after another vintage display of smart shot making. Taking on Ong Yu Sin, Tio Yi Yi, the Indonesians crafted their opportunities at the right moment to peg back their opponent's willingness for long rallies. That'll do it. <laughs> Flat out Arsene on the court. They've come through 21-19 in the third. And they'll be here for tomorrow's final. Try and make it another World Tour Finals gold medal. Fajar Alfian, Mohamed Rian Adianto were stopped in their tracks to make it an all Indonesia final. Liu Yichen, Ou Xian Yi were rewarded for taking risks at the crucial points, earning another face off with Asan and Setiawan. 
and the Chinese pair have done it. I think it's about the final point. Actually, everyone is on the same side. Everyone is on the same side. Everyone is on the same side. So, it's about who can win. Including who can win. So, it's about who can win. Who can win. Three finalists, three titles. China ran out as the big winners on finals day. Liu Yichun and Ou Xianyi captured the first title of the day for their country in the men's doubles. Up against the evergreen Mohammad Asan, Hendra Sepiawan, the Chinese duo needed a strong start. Opening game, 21-17. The Indonesians responded well to restore parity, but their powers dramatically waned in the deciding game. And I've done it. Yeah, I think the first goal is our goal. We have done it today. We have completed it. I'm very happy. And I want to thank the crowd who supported us. And also 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 the crowd who supported us. 不管我们领先还是落后，所以说非常感谢这个氛围，也是让我们能够更加有力的去拼搏吧。China's title number two came in women's doubles. The world's top pair Chen Jingcheng and Chia Yifan were hardly tested by Benyapa and Nunta Khan Ainsa throughout the encounter, and it didn't take long for Chen and Chia to seal their prize. Short, and they've done it. Chen Chen Cheng and Jia Yifan win a third end of year championship title. Uh, 非常开心，然后以最后一场胜利，呃，可以说是完美收官。但是完美并不美，其实这一年还是发生了，呃，很多就是，呃，就是比赛中还是发现了很多的困难。但是还好我们在发现困难的时候及时都改正过来了。所以才可能走到了今天最后的胜利，对，所以还是希望明年可以继续的加油。对。Cheng Su Wei and Huang Yaqiong completed their country's fall for the day. The world champions clinched an incredible tenth title of the year in Bangkok at the expense of Dejapol Guavara Nufro, Sapsiri Teratamachai in the mixed doubles. Oh, magnificent. Behind the back. Oh, now it should be done. Yes, we think that this actually today's match is more difficult than we expected. The opponent actually performed very well, including the offense. I usually don't kill them in the first two matches, but we managed to win. I'm really happy 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 to win. 期待的就十全十美，对我们也很开心，就是有一个 happy ending。对对。Akane Yamaguchi delivered honors for Japan in women's singles. The 25-year-old capped off a fine year with an impressive takedown of Tai Tzu Ying in the ultimate clash. Oh, what a shot there! Behind the back save by Tai Tzu Ying. いい Victor Axelson equaled Li Chong Wei's record of four year end crowns following his defeat of Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Cool, calm, and composed, Imperious Axelson resumed normal service. To, to have won this title four times um, is, is crazy to me. You know, Li Chong Wei is a legend. Um, and to be able to be on par with him when it comes to, to the Super Series title, the world, you know, the World Tour Finals. 
it's amazing. There wasn't the same big, big drift as there was yesterday. So I was able to play with a little bit more, how can you say, a calm feeling on court. I was able to control more. And I felt like I was playing with a, a good balance today. The journey till here has been really amazing and now it's going to be much more amazing. Kedepannya, atau kapan, mungkin All England, kejuaraan dunia, termin yang level senior, dan pastinya Olympic. Coming up next week, badminton's next gen share their hunger to take their game to the next level. In the meantime, be in the know of the latest news about your favorite racket sports with the Badminton For You app. Badminton Unlimited signing off. Bye-bye.